Good morning, Waddleton Mayor Band students. This is Mr. Green. Um, happy Friday, or as happy as it can be, I suppose. Um, I'm sure a lot of you saw the news um, with uh, Governor Tim Walz um, officially announcing that the rest of the school year will be distance learning. Um, when I heard the news yesterday, I kind of expected it, um, or I definitely expected it, but I just wasn't prepared for how I'd feel based on the news. And I guess the, the best word I can use to describe how I've felt recently is just kind of empty. Um, you know, I was so blessed going into Watertown to have walked into such a great band program and I've had nothing but great experiences with all of you. Um, and I'm so happy for the time that I was able to spend to you, spend with you for the first, you know, two thirds of the year. Um, and I'm happy that there, we're still able to learn in some sort of capacity, albeit I really, really miss seeing each and every one of you every single day. Um, and just know that I'm thinking about you constantly. Um, and my goal is just to make the rest of the year as best as, as it can possibly be. Um, I just know that like, especially seniors, my heart really, really goes out to you. I can't even imagine um, what this feels like. Um, and regardless of what year in school you are, uh, you're in, all of your feelings are valid, 100%. Um, and so uh, we'll be doing our regular um, class meetings today. Um, they'll be a little bit shorter, um, just 15 minutes in length. So um, varsity band, I'll see you at 10.15 until 10.30. And then um, symphonic band, I'll see you at noon until about 12.15. Just a really quick little thing um, to chat and catch up and things like that. Um, but with this video, I do also want to just kind of talk through some things that are posted for today. Um, so right off the bat, the first thing that's posted is um, a makeup lesson sign up. So I'm using Sign Up Genius to um, have weekly makeup lesson sign up. So each and every Friday, there'll be eight time slots available. Um, and so, but they'll be exclusive to each week. So since this is a week A week right now, um, only if you have a week A lesson. Um, so if you had one this, this past week that just happened or week two of quarter four, um, then I want you to sign up for makeup lessons if you need one. Right now, there are still a lot of time slots available um, starting right away at 9 o'clock. I only have two people signed up for the day. I know this is a brand new thing, so I wasn't expecting just, boom, all of a sudden everyone um, who needs one to sign up. But just know this is a thing in the future, um, and I'll try to have it published at the very beginning of the week, if not before, like a, a week in advance, um, so that people are uh, ready to go and ready to sign up and stuff like that. So on Monday, I'll have the one for week B posted up. Um, and then uh, getting on to the assignment for today... Um, there is a, uh, an arrangement of Bizet's Carmen, um, which is really, really popular. I'm sure all of you know some of the melodies from it, especially Habanera, the part that I'll be having you play today. Um, and Tori Adair's song is also very, very popular. Um, it's, it's used just, it's sprinkled throughout a lot of different like movies, for example, and just other media and art forms, basically. Um, and so whether or not you've formally listened to this piece of music um, or little snippets from it, you've probably just heard it in passing, um, which is the great thing about classical music. It happens all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically there's a little uh, band arrangement by Richard Sacedo that I'll be having you access on smart music. Um, so I posted just a link to the page that it's on. There's, you know, like 200 pages of band music on smart music, but it goes to page 102. Um, and then you should be able to click on music from Carmen. Um, and then from there, uh, there'll be like a little drop down menu. Um, let's see if I can kind of show you here for a moment. Okay, so I'll flip the cam. Uh, so anyway, so I'm on page 102 here. Um, and I just click the drop down for um, music from, uh, oops, I don't want music for Prague. That's a whole different story. That one's crazy. Um, anyway, so music for Carmen, or from Carmen. Uh, you'll go here and just click open. Um, and then uh, I already have trumpets selected, so I have to hit cancel first. So you just open it up. And then it'll ask you to filter movement by instrument. So you'll pick what instrument you are. Um, so you'll just pick that. And then just another side note, I mentioned this in the tutorial, or not the tutorial, but the description, that if you play an instrument that kind of has like a more, I guess, boring part, like for example, I know um, we've got some killer tenor saxophones in varsity and symphonic band. Um, if you actually want to like take a peek as a as tenor sax player at maybe like the clarinet part or the, the trumpet part that might be a little bit more busy and could be more fun for you. Um, and the tuba part, for example, um, is a little bit uh, basic. So if you want to try doing the all the leaps that are in the bassoon part or like um, 
or in the euphonium part, you can try that out. Um, but there's a couple other things that you can try to look into, like um, uh, contrabass and um, and timpani and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, just you can peruse around and see um, what you want to get creative with. But then once you have one open, I'll just do the, the flute part, for example. It'll load. And a cool feature of, mu of uh, smart music is that um, you can actually play along the full band recording while you're playing. So I can click this little green button right here and it'll play the full band recording. As you can see, there's a little cursor right here. So it'll go along um, at, looks like the tempo is 73 here. Um, and you can kind of play along that way. So um, once you've practiced the first 44 measures, so up until the end of um, uh, the habanero section, it goes to the andantino or the flower song, that's where you'll stop right here. Um, so I want you to practice all the way up to there um, and get it as best as you can. Um, and then from there, um, you'll want to, um, in headphones, just have this playing in the background, but then record yourself on another device playing through this thing. Um, it'll be easiest to play along with the recording just for tempo reasons and stuff like that. Um, but if you feel like you're trying to do that and, and you're struggling and you do better just like playing it right off the page, um, uh, then you could do that as well. So just doing the first 44 bars and then you'll submit that um, to the assignment submission um, right here on this page. Um, and then you are good to go. I have a couple of different links posted. So I have the um, the full score recording on YouTube of this piece um, up there. And then I also have what it's originally from. So the um, recording um, from like an operatic production. So it's by the Royal Opera House. So it's the real deal for sure. Um, so yeah, but with that being said, um, I'll see some of you during our class meetings today um, and some of you during makeup lessons. Um, and yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Next week will be um, kind of a, a delve into some modern classical music. Um, I kind of talked about how already um, stuff like uh, Bizet's Carmen and other operatic things kind of um, peek their way into like, uh, you know, the modern classical music tradition really, really easily. Um, and they're super recognizable. Um, and now we'll kind of just transition into completely modern classical music. And there's a lot to unpack with like, you know, modern technology, and things like that, which will be really, really cool. So I'm looking forward to next week. Um, and yeah, so take care, everybody. Have a nice Friday.